Christie Park. The town that lent its name to Britain's best-loved comedian has never known a day like this. Everyone is dressed up for the cup. There was never a chance that this most friendly of clubs would try to switch the tie away from their home of the past 80 years. And so Christie Park provides the stage on which young men will try to make a name for themselves. Not that they're averse to stealing someone else's. Winger Ryan Zico Black has his father, a fan of the great Brazilian, to thank for his. Morecambe considered playing with a sweeper but abandoned that plan at 6 o'clock this morning. John Norman, who became a father for the first time on Tuesday, will play in behind Mark Quayle, scorer of the winning goal against Cambridge in the last round. And their record by is Steve Walters. As a six-year-old, he travelled all the way from his then home in Devon to watch his favourite team, Ipswich, win the 1978 Cup final. The right-back that day, George Burley, is now in charge. There's no Mark Venus in his lineup because of injury. John McGreal is also out, so Herman Horidison moves inside with Gary Croft at left-back. Jim Magilton is fit, but only on the bench. And fear not, amongst Morecambe's biggest crowd for 34 years is the club's biggest fan, Eric Morecambe's second cousin, and since his appearance on Match of the Day last month, the star of stage, screen and newsprint, Wiggy Threlfall is here, complete with his late father's scarf, which, through superstition, he has never washed. The man in charge is Uriah Rennie. The pitch is good. We don't, ironically, have sunshine, but we do have the archetypal cup tie. Morecambe, 14th in the conference. Ipswich, in their change colours, fourth among the elite. And just to put this into perspective, only six times in 77 years have non-league teams beaten sides from the top division. Of course, it's very unlikely, but one never knows. And Martin Reusser has come across to take the free kick. Which Marcus Stewart sees go behind rather harmlessly. And enjoying proceedings, the Morecambe Club president, Jim Bullseye Bowen. Armstrong. Jermaine Wright. Stewart. And here's Scowcroft. Good save by Smith. Stood up really well. He spends his working week at the Rover car plant in Birmingham. But at weekends, his job is to keep the likes of Scowcroft out. Norman. And Norman was bowled over as he tried to pass the ball. He plays the Teddy Sheringham role for Morecambe. Very clever, tricky footballer. Quail prime amongst those waiting for Ryan Zico Black's free kick. The reverse angle pass to Mark Quail. Oh, just too high for Black. A very well-worked move. The last thing that Ipswich expected. Just too much weight on the cross. Or not enough height on the number 11 black, whichever way you choose to look at it. Hardika forced to turn. Armstrong could be in here. And now Stewart. And through the legs, was it of McKinney? It's in. Marcus Stewart's 14th goal of the season. Scrappy and sloppy but very important in calming the nerves of the Premiership team. Failure to clear on two occasions. Smith did what he could, and then, yes, straight through the legs of Morecambe's captain, McKerney, and Fensum's gallant effort on the line. Not enough. The first time that Marcus Stewart has scored a goal not in the Premiership this season. Prolific enough. The goal arriving just inside quarter of an hour. Splendid arena for a conference side, Christie Park. Over 
top it goes for Quayle. Horaidison struggling now. Quayle turned round expecting the referee to point to the spot. Uriah Rennie had a good view and said no. Now there is a talking point. Were Ipswich very fortunate or was it a wonderful piece of refereeing? The fact that Horaidison was asked to turn that caused the initial problem. I think Uriah Rennie was probably right. There may just have been contact ankle to ankle. But the balance of the doubt lay in Ipswich's favour. Gusting wind is making conditions awkward for the players. Walters, John Norman, Quayle, here's Brian Zico Black! Well, Zico has never scored in the FA Cup. That was nearly rectified. But Morecambe can't afford to spurn chances as good as this. It begged the first-time shot. The bounce was slightly awkward, and then the control went awry. McKerney. Bramble. Here comes John Norman. And now Steve Walters. Been some promising moments for Morecambe. They are renowned for playing attractive football in the conference. And they're sticking by their principles. Wilness. Stewart. Right, right. Jermaine Wright. Goalkeeper didn't come. And is fortunate to get away with it. Jamie Scowcroft that had the header a couple of inches higher Smith would have been left with rather a red face Athletic in the end <laughs> Holland Stewart A very crisp strike from Marcus Stewart. The mark of a man in prime goal-scoring form. Sunset on the Lancashire Riviera, but is the sun about to set on Morecambe's FA Cup hopes? One question simply begs to be asked. Oh, McKerney could be caught out for pace here. Clearly caught out as well by Armstrong and Royce. Well, to remember Ronnie Rosenthal. It wasn't quite such a clear chance, but it wasn't far short. It seemed initially that Armstrong himself would score. And Martin Royce, faced with the chance to score his first goal of the season. Well, let's just be polite and say he spurned it. Magilton. Clapham. Fabian Wilness. Right. Armstrong. It's so typical of Ipswich, the patient approach, the Diligence in one another's cause. Will this? And Armstrong! Still 25 minutes to play, but that may well be the goal that sends Ipswich into round four. Admirable in its construction. So many short, sharp passes. Excellent cross. Flying header predictable result they'd been threatening it for a long time Ipswich when it came it was a very good goal for those that have travelled by tractor it will be a long journey home but it seems likely to be a happy one Magilton oh here's Marcus Stewart Hardiker was pulling his shirt Still the chance hasn't fully gone because there is a corner, but Mark Smith deserves credit. 
But does the referee? Because there was certainly a case for a penalty. Jermaine right to take. Four goals in the offing. Bramble went up. Oh! Off the bar from Horidison. which are playing it does seem a question of how many more they're going to score and that should have been one of them Croft Clapham and in it goes from Jermaine Wright a sublime finish his first ever goal in the FA Cup and it was steered into the corner Impressive and stylish finish. But you could afford to try when you're already two goals to the good. And Clapham, the substitute, the creator. Walker still pursuing a consolation inside the last four minutes. Fought by Walters. Norman! Have given the hordes of Morecambeites something to really shout about. Clapham. The referee has the whistle at his lips. But it's the end of the FA Cup trail for Morecambe. It's been a fascinating time. Wiggy has become a character who's nationally known. Jim Harvey has enhanced his reputation as a coach of some standing. For Morecambe, memories for Ipswich, progress. The full-time score at Christie Park, Morecambe nil, Ipswich Town three. The experience that we've gained playing against Cambridge and, and now Ipswich, that's going to stand us in good stead for, for the weeks and months and, and for the years to come. Um, I think we're all going to benefit from the experience. Uh, it's been it's been marvellous, and hopefully we can take that um, on from here. Oh, credit to Morecambe after we scored the first goal. Uh, they, they, they've you know had a little bit of pressure, so um, yeah, I thought it was, they certainly competed very well. But um, as I say, I thought you know eventually we did a, a good professional job. Are you disappointed that having gone to the referee's dressing room with a stack of brown envelopes yes. before the game, things haven't worked out? I'm for absolutely you? wrecked. I'm going into Uriah's dressing room now and taking the envelope back. He can have a week in Hesham. <laughs> yes, he can. The man's a disgrace. No, he did he a good game, didn't he? And uh, I just was tremendously impressed for everybody, for the town, the enthusiasm, the enthusiasm it's engendered. Everybody has been absolutely mad. Ipswich supporters, as we expected, and as the team, play with dignity and style, and we, uh, we're more than a critter. So. Jim, take a look at what you could have won. Super smashing. Great. Right, that leaves ten more cup ties.